So these shoes, I love these shoes. They're very comfortable. I've, I've worn them for years in the post office. <clears throat> and, um, and since I've been gone from the post office for a few years, retired, thank you very much. These are my last pair. I bought a few pair before I retired and uh, I, I, I just want to make them last. Um, and I had just, I just cleaned these just a month ago or so. And you can see there's salt. Um, there's, you know, this is Wisconsin winter. And in where I work, it's, it's relatively dry, but dusty and dirty. And sometimes I'm on my, my knees working on something, some electrical outlet or something. And, and so I get, it gets, it gets tore up pretty good. So, but I want to keep these. I like these a lot. Um, they're on their last legs, but I still want them to look good. So, <clears throat> um, and I've been doing this, I've been doing this for years. I don't know what got me started on it, but, um, I got this kit decades ago at a resale shop and, uh, and it's coming very handy, um, to keep your shoes looking good and lasting longer and helping them get waterproof. Um, I did just buy a new thing of this because your wax, your Kiwi black wax can get a little chunky. Um, so I just sick of dealing with that. So I bought a new one. So first of all, let's get these cleaned up. <clears throat> I uh, have some rags and I'm just going to, I've got it, I've got them damp and wet. You don't really, it, you probably shouldn't put uh, any chemi harsh chemicals on it. It'll just deteriorate the leather anymore. So um, just, just get it. Here, we'll take the, another little hint here. Take your laces, tuck them down inside, because otherwise they'll be in the way. And um, I've also got a, if you want to get picky because of the eyelets in here, they're hard to get to. Um, I, I don't know, I usually use a, oops, I usually use a toothbrush. And just get the dirt out. You can see all that dirt coming off of there. <clears throat> so, real quickly. Everything just gets really dirty because I don't, I don't have something to protect. Okay, these, this is, uh, this is, uh, my shoes are now damp and I don't want, you don't want to do them when they're damp. I have a hair dryer, so. You can pick up a hair dryer for a buck at a retail shop, store and, uh, so you can do things like this and not have to wait. I had a pretty damp rag uh, to begin with, so I'm not too concerned. All right, so this is the, the applicator brush, is the small one. And it's really quite simple. Ooh, look at that. I guess I haven't even opened up opened this up yet. Nice. Um, just go ahead and get some on the brush, and we'll... Put it on. See how bad that is right there. We're gonna we're gonna cover that up. Oh God, a fresh, whole fresh, moist. I said there. I said it. Uh, can of uh, wax shoe polish. Oh, so satisfying. Because um, after a while they start breaking up, and you know if it gets old enough, like years old, which these things can get. At uh, it's hard to work with. Here, oh man, go you can go right over your laces if you want. If you're picky about it and you don't have black laces, obviously, um, 
You might want to take the laces out. <clears throat> it's kind of a pain. As you can see, it's, it's, it's like covering everything up. This is also really satisfying to see old shoes get shiny. Like I say, you can wash it with a heavier wash, uh, wetter wash rag, but um, you don't always have to do that. Uh, it just depends on how much in a hurry you are. I'm not in a hurry, but just for uh, just for videotapes purpose. And this really, as you can see, it's only it's only taken a few minutes. It took me longer to s set this up, set up my spot because this is also my my work table here. Um, one of my work tables. And you'll feel when you're starting to run out because it stops covering so well. And in these, especially in these toe areas where it's where there where there's heavy damage and um, it'll soak it right up. You probably want to use more up there as opposed to the these back areas and the side areas. Now this 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 almost takes just as long as this uh, this next phase, which we're just about there. Uh, I'm just gonna double check, make sure I got all the spots right. Okay. Put a little bit on the sole, on the edge of the sole there in case there's some bad spots, and especially since it's black, it's very handy. Okay, that's it with putting the wax on. Just brushing it in really good. Now here comes the part that's uh, magic. This was magic, but this is also magic. So there's a sort of a sheen, right? Take your, it's a horsehair kiwi brush. And give her a buff. Everywhere where you put wax, Give it a buff. Actually, I was wrong. This is much faster. <laughs> yeah, nice and shiny. Look at that. Sort of giving it the what for, you know, I mean, giving it a little pressure, but there, I just took my pair of shoes that I've been wearing for, for a year and, uh, and I think they look much better. They it certainly feels better to wear. Um, just when you look down, you see old scuffed up shoes and they don't even barely even look black anymore now they're nice and black and they're shiny and um and relatively waterproof uh once this stuff dries you could you I mean there's been so there's sprays that you can use but um it doesn't i don't think it does as good as good of a job uh, and uh so there you have it nice old pair of shoes compared to what the old ones look like and until the next thing see ya